Hello guys and welcome to my channel once again for another Super Sunday video. Today it is a rather short video uh, but a very interesting one uh, there where I will show you uh, three different but crucial altimeter pressure settings. We are talking about QNH, QFE and QNE. Every pilot should know uh, what these three values represent as they are really necessary to know. The explanation is quite simple, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. By that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like at the end. So let's get started. Okay, so to start with, uh, the three crucial altimeter uh, pressure settings are also known as Q codes. And uh, they represent three different pressures. Uh, they can be measured in millibars, uh, where one millibar equals one hectopascal and that measurement is mainly used in the world, but in the USA and some other countries the measurement is in inches of mercury. Finally, there is also another measurement which is in millimeters of mercury, but it is used in northern uh, Asia countries and southeastern European countries. As now we know in which units the measurements are done, let's take a look at the pressure settings. The first and most known is definitely the QNH pressure setting. The QNH pressure indicates the right pressure for height above sea level. When and if the aircraft is on a runway or at an airport, the altimeter will show the real runway or airport elevation. For checking if the QNH is correctly set, you can take a look at the charts to see the right uh, elevation value of your position at the airport. And then take a look at your altimeter which should show you the same value as on charts. If the value is too high that means that your QNH setting is also too high and you have to reduce it. Uh, but in the other case if you are below the right value then your QNH will need to be corrected and should be a bit higher. The QNH setting is used to at airports and at lower uh, heights below the transition altitude. If you want to know more about the QNH usage and about transition altitude or transition level, take a look at my previous video linked to the top of your screen right now. The QNH setting is also crucial when on approach, uh, as in case of Q your QNH value is false, then you could be too low or too high on approach. And there have been also uh, numerous of accidents due to the wrong QNH setting. Moving on, as we are on departure and we are right now climbing through uh, the transition altitude, what do we do? The first thing after crossing transition altitude is setting the QNH setting to standard pressure or QNE. The QNE represents the standard value of 1013 millibars or hectopascals or even uh, 29.902 inches of mercury. This QNE pressure setting will show us the flight level measured from the standard pressure as mentioned before. And then the same but vice versa applies when we are descending and passing transition level. As mentioned in my last video, the transition level as we are crossing it we will have to switch from QNE pressure setting to the local QNH. Let's continue and let's meet the last uh, quite common pressure setting which is QFE. QFE is the isobaric surface pressure at the reference point which means that uh, when we are at the reference point the altimeter should show us the height equal to zero. Uh, QFE pressure was mainly used in Russia and some other countries where after passing the transition level you were given the QFE instead of QNH. The QFE is always based at the pressure measured at the aerodrome or in case the runway threshold is at higher or lower elevation then the runway threshold QFE should be taken into account. So when uh, we would be on approach and finally we would be landing at our altimeter should uh, be equal to zero upon landing. Uh, this pressure setting is not anymore used in the Russian airspace and now the QNH values are used. That's all about it and I know that you have learned something new today if you hadn't known uh, that before. Use your QNH, QNE and QFE values in accordance with the local regulations 
so that means that you should know the transition level and transition altitude as also if the QFE is used instead of QNH at local airport. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please leave me a like and comment below if you have anything to add. That's it and see you soon, bye bye.